Hey everyone, it's Norm from Tested here at Monster Palooza, and I'm here with Jeremy, who's repping X Plus, as well as uh, you, you work for Star Ace as well. I'm a big fan of the X Plus products. We met up at New York Comic Con a couple years ago, but this is your first Monster Palooza, right? Yeah, it's uh, so far been pretty exciting. It, way more things uh, here than I expected. Yeah. Uh, in the short amount of time that I've been here, I've got a lot of questions about our product, so. Uh, it's great to be here and well, a lot of fun. Absolutely. You guys are bringing a bunch of products as well. X Plus, I think you guys are really well known for all your Godzilla, your Toho creatures. that are like these beautiful, at various scales, vinyl, vinyl models. That's right. And we also have uh, RMC, which are like a polystone too. That uh, They're not as popular as the vinyl because of the breakability of them. But sure. The majority of people know us for the kaiju. The kaiju, sure. absolutely. And for vinyl castings, the paint detail, the, the sculpt detail, it, it, they make amazing desk pieces and art pieces oh. around the house. This one's from the most recent uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, is that right? Yeah, the 2021 film by Legendary. Oh, uh, so cool. Yeah, this one was just released uh, pretty recently here. So um, I, don't, I don't believe that this one was made from the 3D model from the film, like the last one. Mm, um, mm. I'd have to double check that, but uh, the last one that was in this scale, we actually took the uh, 3D model from the film and did a little bit of tweaking and changes to make a good reference from that. But typically, a lot of times they're sculpted by a hand in clay. Yeah. In this uh, apartment in Japan that I got to visit when I went there, and it was quite amazing to see uh, all of this come to life in such a small little area. So, you know, I appreciate that there's assets from modern digital films that give you that fidelity. But I yeah. think there's really a place for like an artist who's known yeah. for the kaiju sculpts to make yeah. a statement and for people to be fans of that work as well. So I love that X Plus is still having some original art sculpts recreating these, these iconic kaiju. Right, and to your point there, we have uh, what's called the favorite sculptors line, which we have things from like a famous sculptor named Yuji Sakai. Mm. Uh, a lot of times I get to help with uh, creating the packaging and a good friend of mine, John Ruffin from My Kaiju. Uh, we've hired him out a few times to do the box art and Mr. Sakai really likes that. Oh. Uh, I've animated some of the commercials that Toho's approved for that. So it's, it's been a lot wow. of fun. That's a great yeah. relationship with the, the, the Kaiju creators themselves. Right. Well, not only is there Godzilla and Kaiju, but there's also this legacy of creatures from Harryhausen, the world of Harry, uh, Ray Harryhausen. Yeah. So. Um, the Ray Harryhausen, we got uh, licensing for the 100 year anniversary for his birthday. Yeah. And we're gonna be continuing the series. We're working with the Ray Harryhausen Foundation really closely to look at the models, to get approvals from them. So they're very involved in the process of uh, our figure creation and the new model kits that we've been creating and the, the vinyl uh, toys that we've been releasing recently. And of course, you know, those, these are decades and decades old, these stop motion puppets, and to accurately recreate them in an iconic pose, whether it's a Cyclops or, you know, a, a skeleton, like they're, they're, they're just really beautiful art, works of art into themselves. You're also announcing model kits here, or you're showing off some model kits you guys are diving into, is that right? So if you take a look here, we're uh, expanding our line of old plastic model kits. And a fun fact about this is that um, at a time when model kits weren't very popular in Japan, uh, these Aurora type model kits were coming out and it was post-war uh, in America where uh, those types of kits already started gaining popularity. So a lot of people at that time like motorized like tin toys and things. So mm -hmm. um, that's what these are based upon. and. We're trying to bring that back and pay homage to to that. Yeah, and with characters that are from classic films. So you have things like this. This is a prototype of Cyclops right. from a classic Harryhausen design. I love that there's diorama base. There's even you know cage and skeletons here. And yes. This will all be part of the classic model kit. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, we also have these chess pieces. So last time you asked me about the Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I tried reaching back out to Marvel and uh, Disney to about bring those back, because you were asking me about those last yes, time. Yes, the Jarek chess pieces, yes, yeah. Yeah, so I really hope that, that that comes to fruition, but that being said, uh, we've got these little model pieces with the little Cyclops that we're gonna be selling, so uh, they're a little bit of a smaller scale, and they'll be a little bit cheaper for people to 
kind of get themselves into and yes. make for a really cool collectible as well. Oh, love it. And I love that there's stuff that you can buy that's beautifully finished and painted that's not crazy expensive, in my opinion, for right. the finishing work. Uh, or if you want to assemble it yourself, you can put one together. I have my eye, and I know Adam has his eye on the Maria from Metropolis. That one is so cool as a model kit. Yeah, so that one was very difficult to try to find the licensing for it because I don't know if you know the history behind it, but there's kind of a gray area whether or not it's in the public domain yet or not. So mm. it, that was a very interesting project to be a part of as well. But uh, the Maria we're, we're really excited about. So uh, just to give you a little bit of a background here, we're start, we started off with the Vampirilla and then we're, we moved into the uh, Metropolis 1929, I believe. Yep. And also, we're going to be going into expanding into Universal Monsters and Jurassic Park coming oh, out. Oh, in so, the model kit line, in the classic model kit line. Right. So uh, we're really uh, wanting to push the vintage model kits and the the magic that they used to have at one time. So uh, Absolutely. That, that's why the box art looks very vintage. And we're yeah. really trying to bring a lot of that back, uh -huh. and especially for collectors that may have been collecting these for a lot of years. like. That's like a, I don't know what the word is, uh, nostalgia for them to have something that's new but looks old. So. Well, it's I think also more accessible now with the tutorials that you can find online for painting them, the supplies for the paints, the adhesives, uh, and we certainly can't wait to get our hands on this Maria so we can assemble it. Uh, it will be a future one day build, I can promise. I can guarantee you that. Yes. <laughs> and we may have different poses too. Oh. So. If you see like the Vampirilla, for example, we've got Glow in the Dark. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a couple other like poses with that as well. Oh, so very, uh, very cool. it's going to be exciting. So if you have any ideas of what you would like to see from Maria, you let me know and we'll pass along that suggestion to the sculptors and groups too. Awesome. I love that you're taking input as well. I'm sure there'll be plenty of input from the viewers and the commenters in the comments below. But Jeremy, yeah. so good to see you. Yeah. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Monster Palooza. You too. So, Thank you. So yeah. good to see you, Jeremy.